Okay, let's get started. This is uh, your instructor Nathan Bowden and uh, this is the first exercise uh, using the book Getting to Know ArcGIS Desktop updated for ArcGIS 9.3. This is the book we're using for our course and I've already been asked several times and no, Laura Bowden is not my sister. In no relation. First, okay, turn to page 22 uh, where the first exercises begin, that's chapter 3. Uh, the first step is to open ArcGIS, and you can do that by clicking on the Start button. Uh, right here it's open for me, but if you can't find it, you can go to your Programs, ArcGIS. You can open several different of the sub-programs of ArcGIS. Uh, we will be using, in this first exercise, only ArcMap. So go ahead and click on ArcMap. First, it'll take a few seconds to open, but um, what will happen when it opens is you will be prompted to choose between three choices. The first, here we are, first is to uh, to start a new map, which we will not be doing today, a template of a map, or an existing map. And for today we'll be opening an existing map, so go ahead and click on that. You'll need to navigate to your data. Um, for me, it's under the folder Getting to Know ArcGIS Chapter 3 and the first exercise is 3A so example 3A go ahead and open that when you're opening the map first you will see two things changing hopefully the first is on the right this is the map that we'll be using uh, in exercise 3 and on the left is a list of four layers you'll see it says here layers and then there are four three of them are turned on these three and one has been turned off in step 4 is to turn on and turn off a few of these uh, layers so right now countries is turned on if you click on it you'll see that one of the layers disappears, namely the countries. So go ahead and turn that back on. And the fifth step is to turn the cities on. And why is this interesting? Well, uh, this n these all these maps uh, have one thing in common. They have to do with, a, uh, with an American uh, pilot. Her name was Amelia Earhart. She tried to be the first woman to uh, circum circumnavigate the globe by airplane and this was an unsuccessful flight. She eventually disappeared. So, but as you see, you can't see the cities very well. So in step 7, we will bring this, sorry, step 6, we will bring the cities to the top because all the layers are in, in different uh, order. So what you do is just click and drag to the top. Now it's you can much easily, much more easily see uh, the cities that she she visited, starting in Oakland. But we don't like this um, cities, well, and so in step seven, because it's not very descriptive, we will go and right click, right click on the cities, and go to properties. Go ahead and open that. And you'll have several tabs here. We will eventually be using all of these tabs in the course uh, of getting to know ArcGIS 9.3. But first we'll start with the general tab. Uh, the layer name is Cities. But that, uh, like I said, isn't descriptive enough. Uh, so we'll call it Cities that Earhart visited or something along those lines. You can call it anything you want. Okay, and as you see it's been changed here. Now it's called Cities that Earhart visited. Now, we, in step 10, we'll be looking at a tool toolbar, which might be up here for you. Just uh, You can also free it and make it float around. The first thing you want to do is uh, the zoom tool. And let's just look at 
a section, we'll choose uh, North America, and uh, and we see come to a selection on United States. You can also go back and forward to different zooms that you've been to. Lastly, you can go to full extent at any time. So if you're zoomed in, you go to full extent. But let's go back to cities you visited in North America. Zooming to North America. Now, it's the first step is to zoom in, but let's say you want to know more about these cities. And we can use a couple of things. The first is the Select Elements tool, which if you click on, to the wrong one. This is the Select Elements tool. See, it's called Select Elements. If you hover over something like Oakland, you'll see what it's called. New Orleans, etc. So th in step 14, it asks you to go over the, the other cities. So Oakland, Tucson, Arizona, New Orleans, Louisiana, Miami, Florida, San Juan, and Puerto Rico, etc. The next is, well, that's very time consuming. So in step f five, 15, uh, we can turn on the labels so that we don't have to hover over each one. What you can do is you go back to the layers on the left, right click, right click cities that Eric visited, and let's see, label features. And now, Obviously, all of these cities have their labels turned on. The pan tool is the next tool we will be using on the toolbar. It's, of course, our flight went further than this, and we can scroll throughout the map. It eventually ends on the right hand side, so you can't go any further. But one of the powers of uh, ArcGIS, why people use ArcGIS, is not because of its mapping capabilities, but also because of the information uh, that that is under the visual part of ArcGIS. So just to um, start you off, we'll use Identify Tool on the toolbar. Yes, we use the topmost layer. Let's say I didn't know anything about uh, Paramaribo. I could click on this and up comes the information that the ArcGIS has on Paramaribo. It is in the country of Suriname. The name is Paramaribo. It is the capital, so capital, yes. The elevation, 11, I believe that's uh, in meters. Precipitation, annual precipitation. The time she arrived, which was the 3rd of June, 1937, and the date that she departed, which was 4th of June 1937 the next day. Okay, that concludes the uh, the exercise 3A. The last step is just to go back to full extent and you can go ahead and play around with um, with any more of the cities and information. For example, if you click on Russia uh, which is in a different layer, that's in the countries layer, you will get all the data on Russia uh, which is in that layer. So, currency type, uh, population, uh, the name, um, landlocked, etc. If you are finished with this, move on to exercise 3B.